Hello, today's adventure is reducing the road noise on the Tesla Model 3. Um, I did quite a bit of um, YouTube research and other research to try to figure out what was the best approach. But um, I recently took a really long, uh, fairly long ride and uh, the road noise was really pretty loud in the Model 3. I was surprised. The Model Y, I guess, is much worse because it's a big echo chamber, but... Um, after reading a really good video by a guy called I Love Coffee, I um, decided to do some work on my Model 3 and see if that helps this rough asphalt, really loud no uh, road noise in the uh, Model 3. I'm going to switch the camera around and show you what I'm doing and uh, I'll have to put in comments, updates, how it does. Okay, so I'm inside the uh, trunk of the Model 3. There's my bumper. There's the top and there's the trunk lid. Um, so when you, uh, before you take it apart, the right side looks like that. I already took the bottom off, uh, I mean the black parts. And um, according to this um, video that I referenced, um, he said, focus your work on the um, wheel wells. So these are the wheel wells um, here. Um, so. Uh, and I noticed that the factory uh, stuck a piece of foam in, and they stuck another piece of foam deep in there in the crevice. There's a large, a big crevice in there. I imagine that would be like a musical instrument and would would uh, amplify all the sounds. So these big black pieces, they're uh, sheets that I got from Second Skin called Damplifier Pro. They're sound deadening mats. They glue, uh, help self adhesive, and they glue. They really make a huge difference um, in terms of toning down the ability for any of the pieces of metal to vibrate and make noise. Um, what I don't know is will I add more uh, acoustic um, airborne uh, dampening, like maybe that's what they're doing there, I'm not really sure. Uh, I may order it, I haven't decided. I may just put this together and see how it is first, we'll see. But I'm trying to uh, isolate or stop all the noise or dampen all the road noise that I can coming through their rear wheel wells, which seem to be uh, kind of echoing and vibrating throughout the car in spite of there being seats, in spite of there being mats. And, you know, clearly the, the factory put uh, acoustic material on the bottom of these mats. They also put uh, those uh, horizontal strips those are sound deadening mats of their own, but you know, they minimize it for weight and cost. So I added pieces um, selectively inside the, uh, not only the wheel wells, but uh, so this is the wheel wells, I'll use a flashlight. And then there's a, there's a cavity in there and I tried to put it in there as best I could. Boy, that was difficult. A little on the outer skin, I figured that's probably vibrating some on the back skin. So I'm really concentrating on both sides. Um, but I tapped this beam and uh, the horizontal beam and I decided to dampen it and I tapped that thing really echoes where they put the mats. So I added a couple of strips in there. I'm gonna continue doing this and uh, um, see, see over time if it makes much of a difference. Uh, so it will take time for me to report back, but I don't know too many other people doing this, so I thought I'd, I'd share it. My name is Ray. I'm uh, in Crystal River, Florida. I've got a 22 uh, Model 3 Performance. Uh, I love the car, but um, the wind noise was really bothering me. The seats were bothering me. I rebuilt the seats. And now I'm working on this road noise. It's not as bad as some other cars. So we have a Toyota Prius and it's just awful. It's a 2011. So I actually did sound editing on that one already. So I already have some experience. And so now I'm working on this. So hopefully we can cut it back. We'll see. And again, I have to report in the notes if it, if it worked or not. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want more information like this. And watch my progress. Thank you so much.